Hey, I'm back with my GoWise pressure oven again. And you know how I really like the rotisserie function? And it comes with the rotisserie spit in there. You know I really like that? Well, I was thinking, how could I do wings or something like that on here? And then I remembered one of my air fryers, I got a basket like this, a rotating basket. And then I thought, can I put this right through there? Yes, I can. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove these spikes. And put this spit stick through my spinning basket, which I called the sweepstakes basket in the past because it spins around and then you pick your winner out of there, remember? You remember that. Anyway, fits perfectly. I believe I got this from my GoWise air fryer. Remember that green and white one I had for a while? That one with the see-through lid that I really liked a lot? I believe I got these accessories there. And I also have um, a shish kebab rotisserie accessory. Look. And I have a steak cage, a square cage that goes on here as well. And I could use all that in this. And I think GoWise should put together a, an accessory kit. And I think I'll let them know. I'll show them this video. And I bet you they will. Okay? Or if you have air fryer accessories around or some kind of rotating basket, it'll probably fit on that spit. And I'm going to make some wings. Some rotisserie Texas Pete chicken wings in the pressure oven. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Tyson, they're thawed out. Okay, let's get started with that. Well, but look, it's gonna be great. It's gonna fit right in there. Take that rack out. It's gonna be nice. This is gonna be fun. Let me mix up this House Autry Texas Pete wing breading mix. We like Texas Pete, don't we? We're gonna like rotisserie crunchy wings. Let's follow the directions here. Move these spikes out of the way. I'm going to go shake and bake style. All right, let's read the directions here. One egg, I know that. Combine one egg and one half cup of water. Okay, dip chicken wings in the egg wash. Coat wings in the wing breading mix by shaking it in a plastic bag or rolling in wing breading mix. Place breaded wings on greased baking pan. Spray them lightly with oil. 425 for 30 minutes. All right, that's conventional oven. They had no idea they'd be cooked in a pressure oven, did they? Like my classic 1967 Pyrex bowls. I like them. I'm going to put the egg and a half a cup of water in here. One egg. One half cup of water. Mix that up. Let me use my fancy Sears classic beater. Not too frothy there now. Put this in a bag. Texas peat flavor. Mmm, I smell it. Oh yeah. Ah, that smells so good. Put that in bomber bag. Get my wings over here. Let's try not to make a mess here. There's the basket. How many am I going to fit in there? Eight or ten? We want them to have room to bounce around. And there's a heating element on the top and the bottom of the pressure oven. So it's going to get good and crispy. Alright, chicken. I'm going to spray the inside of this with Pam. Why? I don't know. Why not?
chicken. Place in all natural chicken wing sections. See the wing? Dip it in the egg mixture, if you can see that. And wrap it in the bag. Give it a little shake. Ooh. The Texas Pete's coming alive. Shake it off a little bit. There you go. Put that in our rotisserie basket. Grab another one. Egg mixture. Bag. Shake. Get it out. I'm going to continue this for a while. You know how I'm doing it. And I'll come back when I have a full basket. Okay. This is the tenth one. Ten. See. We're going to roll around good. Close up the sweepstakes basket. Come around here to my Beautiful Go Wise USA pressure oven. Come over here. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? Going in. One side goes there. And one side goes here. Fits in the groove. Pressure. I'm going to follow the time on the box here. Where's the box? Box fell down. 425 for 30 minutes. All right. Well, this might get done quicker because it's going to be under pressure. But I'm going to go 425. Go 425 for 30. Uh, I'll go 30, but I'll check it in between. And the pressure light is lit. The rotisserie light is lit. Top and bottom burners. I'm going to turn off the inside light. Top and bottom burners. And press start. We can look at it. I'm going to look at this with the light because I can see them in there. And we're in pressure. Just like your pressure cooker. Pressure builds up real quick. Hear that? How long was that? Five seconds and there's in there already? Alright. Under pressure. Rotisserie. Texas Pete chicken wings. And the go-wise pressure oven. And guess what? Yes, it does make toast. There's a toast button right there. And for breakfast today, I said, I pushed toast, fit six slices in there. Isn't that amazing? This is going to replace my toaster oven. It's going to move up on the rack over there. You'll see. All right. Be back soon. We'll check them out, right? See it in there? Rotisserating. See some of the breading came off down into the crumb tray down below. But that's okay because we're cooking chicken wings in a rotisserie pressure oven. Great idea I had there. I don't care if it makes a little mess. Guess what I just got delivered in the mail. <laughs> this is the micro touch shaver. You ever see that on TV? Ooh. You want to see me use it? You don't want to see me use it, do you? Now I'm cooking chicken. Has accessories. Has a USB charger. I was thinking if an old person doesn't have a computer or a USB, how would they charge this? You know? That's the only option to give you. A cable for USB. I know we have all that stuff, but somebody in the world doesn't. Click like if you want me to shave off my Brillo pad. <laughs> or another mohawk. What do you think? Let's check them wings. As I'm continuing to watch this, I see that I lost a lot of breading because I guess breaded things aren't meant to be in a rotisserie. <laughs> but that's how I'm learning. But anyway, I still have a bunch of wings left and I'm gonna put them on the rack. If 
for the second part of this video because we want some crunchy wings now those wings are going to be good and crunchy and tender and moist but it looks like a lot of the batter came off we're going to see how it goes all right let me do the rest of my wings we'll pick down underneath there we are go back to what we were doing now we're having a regular wing ding here this week you know that don't you there we go again that's almost done that has 12 minutes left on it let me get these prepared and set them on the rack put them in and you won't have to turn them over either because it has the top and bottom heating elements which is pretty cool that's gonna hold a lot okay yeah these are gonna be Texas Pete all the way all right, I'll finish these and I'll get back to you. Ten. We got ten more wings. I have wings for weeks around here. For minutes. How's that look for you? Well, that's done back there. Got nine minutes left on that. I went in for another ten minutes because they didn't look crunchy enough to me. And there's three minutes left. I see a lot of the breading has come off. But this was an experiment. And I think it still came out pretty good. It just won't be crunchy breaded. It'll be crunchy crunchy though. I hope. We're almost down to a minute left. Yesterday when I used this and it got to a minute, pressure released itself. Let's see if that happens again. This goes up to 11 pounds of pressure. I mentioned that yesterday. See? Went to a minute, and the pressure released itself. Isn't that amazing? So I have one minute to look at and taste these. Texas Pete rotisserie chicken wings. Let's get over there and check it out. I'm gonna put them on a plate. A big plate. Because I have this other rack I'm gonna put in. Remember, this will be quick. I'm just going to put this in and I'll show you when they're done so it won't be another 30 minutes you have to sit here. Come on, minute. I had to try the rotisserie function with this basket that didn't come with it. And I found out breading is not great for that, but I'm sure it would be great for french fries, pierogies, frozen things like cheese sticks or whatever. You know, they're breaded. That breading will stay on. All right, here we go. Make sure your pressure's out all the way. It is. Mmm. See a lot of breading on that crumb tray down below. That's okay. We've got this handy handle. Where am I going to put this? Handy handle. That tray will clean up easy, I'll show you. And this basket, I've cleaned it before. A lot of the breading on there burned up and fell out into the bottom. That's okay. That's okay. Now it's hot and it smells delicious. Give me another pot holder so I can open this up and get these out. Step aside, Henry. And the winner is me. All right, I need a bigger counter now. Let me get these grabbers. Mmm, no breading, but flavor for sure. Let them cool. They're crispy. They're crispy. Mmm, get that spicy Texas peat flavor. Right now you could drizzle some hot sauce in there or shake them around in a bowl with hot sauce. This will clean up okay. I'm going to soak it. I'll scrape it with a plastic spatula. Now, see them? Before we go any further, let's put this rack in the bottom and just try them like this with this other handy handle. See? Oh, do you want me to clean that up first? Easy to clean up. Eh, why? I'll clean it later. 
It is though. I'm gonna go 425, like the instruction said on the Texas Pete box, to 30 minutes. 425, both. Turn off the rotisserie, I don't need it now. For 30 minutes, okay, start. There we go. We're in pressure mode, in pressure mode here, and there. And I'll just show you these when I come back. Or should I taste one of these first? Let this cool a little bit. Hmm? Look. Oh, 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 hot. I'm gonna put some blue cheese in there too. I put some blue cheese on the side or in the middle. Let me get back at that little wing. I should wait. But delicious. Very delicious and spicy. Texas Pete spicy. These are gonna be different, aren't they? Right on the wing ding. That blue cheese sure cools it down though. Alright, be back when these are done. Right back. Hang on. See how I'm cleaning this up? It's almost clean already. See? I'm using this thing, one of these scrub things. Hot water, just scraped it a little bit with a plastic spatula. And I'll take them all down. See? Five, six minutes. Now remember this didn't come with a pressure oven. This is just an idea I had. I had this from my air fryer accessory kit. Oh, not bad, huh? Easy. I smell them, they're cooking up quick in five minutes, look. Mmm. These are gonna go quicker. All right, these rotisserie style wings are cool enough to eat good now. Try another one of them. Mmm. Oh, tender, they are crunchy. And your Texas peak flavor is really strong in there. It's gonna be a nice platter when they're all out, right? I'm trying to save them, keep them warm. Oh, yes. Don't they look good all sizzling up in there? Mm-hmm. It's normal to release pressure like that with this pressure oven. It regulates, it goes up to 11 pounds and it regulates back down. And sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it releases pressure. But it's great. And you saw it automatically releases completely at one minute left. It's halfway through, 14 minutes. Okay. Imagine them in another 15 minutes. Whoa, yeah. I kept these warm in my little frying pan, so they're all gonna be good to eat at once. It's almost done back there. I have three minutes, and it sure smells good. Remember earlier I said that release pressure at one minute? Well, this time I did it at five minutes. So it depends, it's smart, you know, it builds up so much and it lets it down, but there's a lot of pressure in there. Time's up. Time to eat. You want some wings? I knew that you did. Cancel, all right. Where's my fancy eating plate? Here it is. About to fill it up. Hear that pressure escaping? Whoa, yeah. Look at these babies. Can you see? Can you hear them? Both sides. Remember, that's Texas Pete. Juicy, crispy, crunchy, spicy wings. One more in there. This is gonna clean up easy too, believe me. It will. Look at them. Can we get a nice picture of that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
You want some now, don't you? Okay, should I taste the hot one? Or the ones I warmed up? I had two of those already. Remember? Half was done in the rotisserie. Half was done on the rack. You've seen it. Right here. Texas Pete. It's hot. Maybe the blue cheese will cool it off. Oh! Ouch! Going in. Mm. Oh. Woo. It's a crunchy on the rack. Still spicy. Juicy. Mm. Mm. We got more wings coming later in the week. Mm. Remember, that's the Go Wise USA. Pressure oven. Rotisserie and rack. Baked, crunchy, Texas Pete chicken wings. Try it if you like it. Stop back soon. Check out Go Wise. Check out Texas Pete. All right, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I'm glad I did it both ways for you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a nice day. Please subscribe. See ya. Thanks for stopping by my wing ding. Another one. Oh, yeah.